once the final buzzer went uh, along with that relief was uh, just a great amount of joy. I mean, you heard everyone screaming, yelling, and I think the biggest thing was just a group of guys that came together from all over the world to, uh, to put together something special. I think Nelly does a great job of keeping the guys close throughout the season. I mean, we, we did a great job pulling together as a team and as a family. And I mean, we, we knew from the beginning our goal is to win a Calder Cup, and I think that was the difference between any other team I've been on. Yeah, so double OT, I think that was the longest game I've ever played in. You know, you're going into that uh, fifth period of hockey, and you're looking around the room and you're just thinking, okay, who's going to do it for us? Who's going to put this puck in the net? And we can go home and we can enjoy this win. You know, a lot of people say, um, you know, what I did in overtime was a different oh, That is the save of the season by Jared Carl! Those are those saves where you just abandon all technical aspects of the, of the goaltending position and you just have to throw a limb at it, whether it's your hand or your foot. And if you make a big save like that or someone makes a big hit or a great play, you know, it just it adds momentum to the team. I knew something special was going to happen when, when Tang Grady made that interception or that, you know, took away the puck from their player and then gave it to Ben Street. I mean, Ben Street made a great shot, but he also had Ferky for an option for a one-timer. So uh, those are three guys you want on the ice in overtime that can put the puck in the net. Eddie Pasquale and Cal Heater, they did a tremendous job for this team. They won a lot of games. You know, we're a family. And with uh, Brian Mahoney-Wilson, I guess you could call us, you know, the four goalies, we're so tight-knit. And we, Beamer does such a great job with video, with coaching. And we all respond really well. We feed off each other, we support each other, and we learn from each other. Grand Rapids is a phenomenal city. It's clean, it's safe, it's a good place to raise a family. And the fans are phenomenal. I think Nelly hit the nail on the head when he said in game six the fans won us that game. The third period they were they were absolutely insane and we, and we fed off it. This city, uh, they love their Griffins and we love the fans so I think it's a great trade off. You add a championship to your resume and no one can take that from you. For, for the rest of your career and even after your career you're going to have Calder Cup champion tied to your name. For me personally, it was an accomplishment that I wanted to do as soon as I stepped foot in this locker room and into the AHL. When I first signed Grand Rapids, they were the champions and I, I thought to myself, I want to do that. I didn't know how long it was going to take, uh, I didn't know the team or the coach that I was going to have when we were going to do it, but you know, this is a winning organization now. You know, I think winning is expected here and I think that also puts a bit of pressure on yourself to win a Calder Cup championship, but I mean for myself this summer going into it, it's going to give me a lot of motivation to get my work in in the short period of time that we do have and come in next year and prove that I can continue to be a winner.